Well, as promised, late week changes making their way in. A few flakes fly in and have flown today, even in the FM area. So we've had a taste of at least a little bit. You can see the flakes flying in the lights there from our home of economy view in the northern reaches of Grand Forks. As we head into the late night hours, our snow chances do continue. So tonight, and this evening, not much in the way of accumulation, but it's overnight and into the morning when we'll have some. So some will have a little bit of a battle with the commute, but I don't expect it to be overly snow packed. We'll have another shot at some snow in the area as we go into Saturday, and we're going to cover all of that right now. Here is a look at your current conditions. 36 at Hector, 36 at Moorheads Airport, wind west 6 miles per hour. In fact, after a couple of days, including today and yesterday, well, we had wind in the state of North Dakota that exceeded 60 miles per hour out west. It's finally quieting down just a bit. Temperatures now freezing for Babe the Blue Oxen in Thief River Falls. Grand Forks, you have 35. That's the same thing in Devil's Lake. We have 38 in Jamestown, Lakes Country, low to mid-30s there. And we still are holding on to 40 to near 50 degrees in the central Dakotas. Colder still in Faustin. They're below freezing there inside the little white freezing circle. And factor in the winds, which aren't horribly strong. Oh, thank goodness. Wind chills are approaching that 20 degree mark for some in central and northwest Minnesota. Here is a look then at the satellite and the radar. We do have clear skies in the western Dakotas. A big old batch of snow from Winnipeg now stretching all the way down in toward that Crookston area and into Monoman County. That's going to be diving southward. Now this band of snow is going to be fairly persistent as your hour by hour forecast set in motion shows between now and pausing this at two in the morning really kind of overspreads much of northwest portions of Minnesota with a chance of snow. Uh, just so you get a feel for what you're looking at here, the light blues, light snow may not even reach the ground. But where we do have the darker blue bands, those are heavier. They may even reduce visibility a little bit in the overnight hours. This band of pink here again, uh, just to refamiliarize yourself with these meanings, that's a mix of precipitation, maybe some sleet mixing in as well. We do have a smattering of flurry activity across northwest uh, North Dakota, but take a look. Most of the activity in our Minnesota counties temperatures as we begin the morning hours with snow still flying will be near freezing for most areas and we could see some daybreak showers of snow in and around the highway our interstate 94 corridor and highway 10 corridor even as far south as Fergus Falls so there'll be a chance for snow but because it will have been snowing for a longer period of time in northwest Minnesota certainly the grassy areas the roofs of your houses and the well, the hood of your car will accumulate some snowfall on it, and this will be working its way southward as we go through 11 in the morning. Notice it moving into Otter Tail County out towards Alexandria and Douglas County. Then it's over. Gusty northwest winds once again over 40 miles per hour. Temperatures near 40 degrees and some breaks in the clouds late, but a cold and blustery Friday evening for your plants. By around the early afternoon hours is when most of this accumulation will have taken place uh, up to three inches in a couple of places, but where you see this shade of blue here near Roseau and into Bemidji, generally one to two inches of snow will be in these areas. A trace to a few tenths of an inch where you see the light blue and across many of our North Dakota counties, lesser chance of accumulating snow. Temperatures near 40 for all, gusty winds for all, so cold and blustery in the afternoon hours. And by the way, the afternoon drive, because the snow shuts down at around one in the afternoon or so for most of us, I think the roads will have plenty of chance to really clear out and improve by that evening commute. It'll be the morning and midday commutes that will be impacted the greatest. What about Saturday? We got you covered. Northern Minnesota, around Lake of the Woods, all the way into Beltrami County and International Falls. Another swirl of flaky snow will work its way through with some light accumulations added on. On Saturday for Fargo, it's going to be cold, uh, 31 to start, 48 for a high, and colder still on Sunday, but we lose the flaky chances for most areas. A lot of sunshine, but look at the cold take hold. Temperatures will be down in the teens for many, dare I say a single digit here or there on Tuesday morning. But then we start breaking back into the 50s, celebrate, get the flip-flops, shorts, and all that kind of stuff out. But uh, it's that time of year where we just got to keep the, you know, both closets stocked, right? The sweater weather closet mm -hmm. and the short sleeves. It could be, yeah. be anything. Right. And now the real big coat. The, it's about yep. time for yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thanks. You bet. Well, today of